Hello there, my loveliest friend. Thank you very much for welcoming me back into your humble abode. I must commend you for the predictability of your furniture placement. Yes, I haven't stubbed a single toe in this place. <laughs> and I have been known to be somewhat of a serial toe stubber. <laughs> If there's an object within five miles, consider this girl's toes stubbed. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, lots of people like to place their items in unpredictable places for the sake of zest, but fail to consider the simple beauty of placing things precisely where you might expect them to be. <laughs> But that's just my ramblings on the matter. I'm certainly not any sort of superior minder, uh, ulterior whiner, interior designer. <laughs> my specialties, in fact, lie elsewhere. Which brings me to the purpose for my visit with you today. A little birdie told me that you've been having some troubles. Some ghost troubles, is that right? Well, I am terribly sorry to hear it. An exciting matter, but a frightening one at that. I have had the exact same troubles before, and I know just how scary it can feel. But don't you fret. By the time I leave here today, you and your ghosts will be nothing short of the best of friends. Yes, you know, many a lesser ghost hunter would try to eradicate the ghosties, suss them out, and snuff them out. But I have no such intentions. No, no, no. You see, the true tragedy of a haunted home lies not within the spookiness, but in the missed opportunity for potential friendships. Mm-hmm. The potential bond between those of the living and the unliving is truly limitless, and it pains me immeasurably to see everyone miss out due to unfounded fear. So, let us discuss exactly what leads you to suspect spectral activity in your home. I've got a nifty act for the telltale signs. It goes as such. Friends. Standing for faint gossiping. Have you been hearing any subtle whispers? Any barely perceptible murmurings? Check. How about really misty? Yeah, I think I'm definitely seeing that one in here. At first, I presumed you might have a burnt a bagel, but upon closer examination, yes, this is unmistakably spectral mist. Check. I think there's ghosts. Do you? Check. Easy to open jars. They just really like to loosen up tight lids. I don't know what to tell you. Not sure if they're showing off or just like to make your life easier or what, but um, yeah. Okay, check. New flowers. Ghosts have been known to love gardening. Daisies, definitely. Dog is happy. Ghosts give lots of pets to puppies. Check. Last of all, stolen snacks. They actually only eat glitter, but they do like to hoard snacks, usually up in the attic, so they can read the nutrition facts to each other for giggles. Why is he cereal? My condolences. Well, 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 it does appear that you have experienced each and every sign of friends. This is most excellent news and means that we can now begin procedures. I have developed and patented a foolproof system of steps to 
ghost befriendment, which I will gladly perform with you today. The first step is, of course, to recite a ghost summoning spell. Thrice, while carefully infusing the area with loving, welcoming energy. As you might have noticed, I've set up my practice ghosty. This little guy just helps us to focus our intentions, shows the actual ghosts the kindness with which we mean to treat them. And he just looks really nice, doesn't he? <laughs> Puts a smile on the face, you know? Okay, here we go. Uh, feel free to recite it along with me, or just sit back and relax. Ghosties, please come out to play. We hope to see you every day think you are too scary? That's okay. We love and like you just that way. Ghosties, please enter this room so our friendship can truly bloom. Ghosties, please come out to play. We hope to see you every day. Think you are too scary? That's okay. We love and like you just that way. Ghosties, please enter this room so our friendship can truly bloom. Ghosties, please come out to play. We hope to see you every day. Think you're too scary? That's okay. We love and like you just that way. Ghosties, Please enter this room so our friendship can truly bloom. <laughs> okay, so magic spell recited thrice. Don't give up on me now, mermaid pen. The next step to rub a dub dub is to establish an entirely fear-free space. We must cleanse the room entirely of fear to create a friendly environment where they will feel comfortable coming and hanging out with us. So we will be doing a deep clean with ghost-friendly soap and scrubbies. Here we go. like we have cleaned up the room pretty well, but I am still seeing little tufts of fear entangled in your aura and in your eyebrows. Yes, you know, brows do tend to be a fairly fear-friendly environment. Likes to congregate up in there. you don't mind, she will actually be the one tending to those tufts for you. Is that alright? Wonderful. So glad you hear it. Okay, so we'll just need to equip Miss Eloise with her special little 
Fear Tuft brush. There she goes. And Fear Tuft scissors. Okay, let's get started. Okay, she's going to go ahead and she's going to go ahead and examine you nice and up close, getting all up in the eyebrows. Oh, looks like she's found a tuft. Brush, brush, brush. And cut, cut, cut. What else do you see? Finishing you up with a thorough scrub, scrub, scrub with these sponges of varying sizes to get all up in the nooks and crannies of your energies. Not a speck of fear left unscrubbed. So you see, ghosts can be very shy, very polite, and might desperately wish to befriend you, but simply don't want to be a bother. They're largely nocturnal, so to them you are literally always asleep, and they can't imagine rudely disturbing your slumber. So I have designed a clever ruse. When you go to sleep at night, you simply need to place these up eyeballs over your real eyeballs and so the ghosts will think you're already awake and will have no qualms with approaching and befriending you like this you see that's how you make a friend now it is time to utilize my extremely high-tech spectral scanner this allows me to detect the ghost these most hydropic areas throughout the home so that we know exactly where to focus, where in the room to place our offerings and such.
so with this invaluable knowledge we will specifically place our motivational traffic cones where they are most likely to be seen outlining the ghosts popular paths throughout the home of course they feature such arousing messages as awesome okay that one can go just over here by the dog bed with the awesome face in the wallet of course next up is great job i love that one so this one is going to go over by the pantry we don't want to encourage the cereal stealing do we let's put that one in the hallway a face painting how exciting but to be honest with you not exactly my strong suit the artistic talents lie entirely with Eloise so if you don't mind once more I would like to have her take the reins for a moment have her paint a pro ghost message on the cheek okay I'm thinking I Everyone knows that the most surefire way to express friendship is via bracelet. So I have prepared a wonderful selection of friendship bracelets, ghost themed, of course. One for me, one for you, and hopefully one for each of the ghosts. <laughs> so we've got uh, this pink and green one. This one says dead is cool. Do you like that one? You think it's good for one of the ghosts? I think I think you're right. Okay. So put that over here. Um, the next one says ghosts rule. So this one is really pretty because it's got a rainbow. Uh, and I think this one would be really nice on you if you like it. Okay, cool. So if you could give me your left hand, as is traditional for a ghost to bracelet. Perfect. And then if you wouldn't mind helping me pick which one 
I should wear between these two. That would be pretty cool. Best pals or love ghosties. We've got a yellow and blue and a pink and orange. You're right. I think that does that does match pretty well. along a pair of slinkies simply to convey that we are in generally fun loving folk the kind of people you can really get along with maybe even reveal your spectral form to put some socks on do a couple coloring pages with us you know the good stuff <laughs> so for the remainder of this appointment feel free to go absolutely buck wild with these Really free your inhibitions. Feel the rain on your skin. They're both iridescent, which is preferable. You know, ghosts, they can see, but their vision is uh, its not quite the same as ours. Anything glowy, glittery, shimmery tends to be what catches their eye the best. And any respectable ghost hunter knows that their favorite snack is a glitter. The shimmier for you, the better. Each and every ghost has their own color preference. They do all taste pretty different. Um, based off of the color scheme I'm seeing throughout your home, I think we can safely assume that the particular ghosts you have attracted definitely favor blue. So, we will just need to set out a wee bowl of a blue glitter right along the eye traffic lines. Okay, set that in just here for you guys. The next step is to communicate sweater making intent. The spectral realm can get pretty cold and everyone likes to be cozy. So we want your ghosts to be well aware that whenever they would like to reveal themselves, we will be glad to make them a welcoming sweater. We would love to have it prepared in advance, but ghosts can be wildly different in size. Did you know that? ranging from the size of mice to rhinoceroses. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, we just want to set out this jumbo skein of yarn. So pretty, so soft, really irresistible stuff. I mean, I really, I really can't imagine anyone seeing this and not wanting to be wrapped up in it straight away. It is, of course, their preferred color, blue, with the loveliest little tufts of purple for good measure. Ghosts have long been known to love frogs, not to eat, for kinship. They have lots in common, just like vibe-wise. Looks like that completes the final step of my official ghost befriendment procedures. So now all there is to do is wait for our offerings to work their magic. Usually, it takes the ghosts at least two nights to warm up to the idea of revealing themselves. Three, if they are particularly shy, which your ghosties do seem to be. Nothing wrong with that. Shyness is next to sweatiness, as they say. Sweetiness. Shyness is next to sweetiness, as they say. I really hope you enjoyed partaking in these activities with me. I really just had the grandest time. Best of luck with your spectral endeavors. Don't hesitate to call me if you ever need anything at all. I hope to find myself back in your beautiful home very soon. Okay, goodbye for now.